Six candidates for the next election, the Republican primary for U.S. Senate, are traveling the state. Former U.S. Representative Mark Newman made a stop in Green Bay today as he tries to sway voters for the August primary. NBC 26's Brian Miller has our big story at six. Place the retiring Democratic Senator Herb Cole. But Newman says he's the most conservative candidate looking to take on Democrat Tammy Baldwin in November. Mark Newman is making the rounds, visiting several cities to drum up support for a campaign he says is focused on two main ideas. All put together, we took six months writing the plan. It would balance the federal budget in a five year period of time by cutting $1.4 trillion of spending and ending Obamacare. And Senator Tom Coburn of Oklahoma joining Newman as the candidate raises money for his U.S. Senate bid. When Mark called me uh, to see about getting in this race, I was excited about it. And Newman is vying to take on Democrat Tammy Baldwin. And although he faces a tough challenge in the primary, including former Wisconsin Governor Tommy Thompson, Newman is already looking toward November. We're very focused on Tammy Baldwin already. Tammy Baldwin is the most liberal member of the United States House of Representatives the last 30 years. Same study I quoted earlier where I'm the most conservative. Baldwin, speaking at the state Democrats annual convention in Appleton over the weekend, says she's the best choice for struggling families. Time for the Congress to focus on the struggles of hardworking middle class families, especially uh, here in Wisconsin where people work hard, play by the rules, but they're not getting ahead right now. And Political experts say the primary battle will be contentious and hard fought, with the winner hoping to fill Herb Cole's Senate seat with a Republican for the first time in nearly 55 years. Now, the Republican primary is just nine weeks away on Tuesday, August 14th. Well, Tammy Baldwin is not facing a Democratic challenger. Brian Miller, NBC 26.